Welcome to another edition of Dan Frequently Asked Questions. In this edition, we'll be discussing hypoglycemia and diving. Keep watching. We got a question from a diver related to a person doing a dive to 35 meters and developing a bout of low blood sugar called hypoglycemia and losing consciousness, returning to the surface and displaying weakness on the one side. And the question was, what was the problem and how should it be treated? Well, there are a number of things to consider here. Firstly, hypoglycemia usually does not occur in individuals that are uh, taking a normal diet and don't have extreme durations of exposure to uh, relatively cool water. Under those conditions, one can get hypoglycemia, but it is sometimes associated with the treatment of diabetes and either insulin or some of the anti-hyperglycemia medications that can cause hypoglycemia and that would in fact impair uh, function of the brain and cause dizziness and even unconsciousness and in extreme cases, death. Now, in this particular case, the person was stunned or unable to cooperate and presumably there was some sort of uh, emergency ascent or at least a uh, fairly rapid return to the surface. My concern is why the person had a one-sided uh, weakness as a result of the event. If one has hypoglycemic injury to the brain, it usually involves the entire brain and not selectively one part of the brain more than the other. There are certainly parts of the brain, such as memory and so on, that are more vulnerable to either low oxygen or low glucose, but that would not be true for the areas of the brain responsible for body movement in the arms and legs. So my concern would be in this case, whether there was possible either decompression illness or gas embolism as a result of the return to the surface. So to answer the question as far as treatment is concerned, we always want to exclude two conditions when a person has suffered a diving related injury where there is a serious set of symptoms. And the first is a possible pneumothorax because that would be complicated if the person gets recompression. And the other is low blood sugar because it also would be complicated with hyperbaric oxygen therapy. So those two conditions need to be ruled out in the management of a decompression related event, even if there is no specific suspicion of a lung overexpansion injury. We still recommend that at least it should be excluded, uh, even if it is by clinical examination or ultrasound, not necessarily even a chest x-ray. So I hope that addresses some of your questions and uh, until next time, please take it safe and make sure that you are well hydrated and have at least some energy in your stomach uh, prior to undertaking especially strenuous or lengthy dives. Until next time, safe diving.